King Arthur need never know that I'm to blame. That it was I who unleashed the abomination upon Camelot. That I am responsible for the destruction of his kingdom. That the noble blood of the knights of the round table is on my hands and mine alone. Oh, but no, this is no fault of mine. It was the knights who meddled with a power they did not, nay, could not comprehend. A power that was mine by right. And for their folly, they now lie dead. The kingdom is... Well, the less said, the better. And I'm saddled with fixing the whole mess. Why is it always me? <sighs> it all began with that accursed, ruinous artifact. The Holy Grail. The knights were to bring it to me. How was I to know that gaggle of blundering brutes would jab it with their stabby sticks? How, I said. I suppose in hindsight. Perhaps I could have warned them of the dangers. Eh, but I digress. Behold, a great beast emerged from the grail, birthed by the void itself. So what, said I? No biggie. And then it began its terrible work. It cut through the nights as a hot knife through butter before turning its gaze upon Camelot. Fiddlestick, said I. Yes, biggie, because I happen to live there. We've all read the tales. The valiant hero in shining armor swoops in to save the day. This is no such tale. Even us Tolbert King paled before the might of the void. Thus it fell to the great and magnanimous Merlin, who imposed his mastery over the grail, and returned the void giant from whence it came to the black firmament betwixt the stars, the astral dimension. Of course, nothing in my life has ever gone to plan. Why would this be any different? Camelot was funneled into the astral dimension as well. The knights of the round have fallen. Yet I have the power to return just one. So, it falls to you. Arise. Arise, King Arthur. Raise high your blade. Restore the glory of Camelot once and for all. I said, arise, King Arthur, and restore glory to... Five more minutes. The glory of Camelot cannot tarry even for five more minutes. Up now, I say. Fine, fine. What? Did I drink too much last night? I regret to inform you that is not the case, Your Majesty. You died. What? This doesn't look like hereafter. Your time has not yet come. Regrettably, the same cannot be said for the Knights of the Round. They have fallen. My knights have fallen. And furthermore, it appears my resurrection spell has dumped you somewhere random. Most concerning. You resurrected me. Ugh. It's starting to come back to me. That giant... Did you resurrect my knights as well? Uh, it's not so simple as that, sire. For the moment, focus on getting your bearings and restoring your faculties. Uh, can you walk, sire? You will need to find a way out of the forest and back to Camelot.
Merlin, I can't get through this crag. I try to dash over the ledge, Your Majesty. Good! I think you can use that move to dodge an attack as well, Your Majesty. I keep trying to find the exit. You'll be able to see Camelot soon. I'm here. Is that rock moving? It doesn't seem friendly. Merlin. Why is the rock not friendly? I think the magic of the astral dimension is making everything unstable. Astral dimension? Merlin, where am I? You see I. Ouch! Okay, save the exposition for later. The rock is hitting me, Merlin. Your Majesty, what has happened to Excalibur? Excalibur is... broken. I think it broke when that giant... We can fix Excalibur once we've regrouped. For now, attack the monster and protect yourself, Your Majesty. Better be able to explain why the forest has come to life and why it is attacking me. I sense a mighty presence. You! My memory is hazy, but... You're the one responsible for this. I will make you pay. Okay, no need to blow your brain out. Actually, you don't look like you have anything inside that mossy head. Your Majesty, I'd advise against provoking the, uh... Holy mathematics! You must flee, sire! King Arthur of Camelot does not run away from enemies.
just about in range, sire. Here we go. What happened? Is this Camelot? Your Majesty! My teleportation spell works? I'm so glad. It's not like you to be so doubtful of your ability, Merlin. Don't your spells always work? On Earth, yes. What in the name of the Architect's holy calculations do you mean? This is Camelot, is it not? Yes, Your Majesty. However, I hate to inform you that Camelot is no longer on Earth. Please, look around. Merlin, where are we right now? Welcome to the Astral Dimension, my king. I calculate we'll be here for a while. What? I'm sure you have many questions. Yes, but we can't dilly-dally with your theories. A giant resides just outside of Camelot's border. I need to get back there and defeat it. Very well. Before you go, I implore you to approach the Night Statues. If you have any more questions, approach me. And we can talk. The knights may be dead, but they might still be able to help with your broken blade problem. Huh! <laughs> huh! <laughs> 